combo and Ew. kicks to punches. Ooh, oh, the acrobatics, oh, nice. Oh, oh, Hello, welcome to the behind the scenes of the MMA fight that is happening at my gym. There's a lot happening right now. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Here's, you got to see behind the scenes. I don't even know. Hey, we're gonna have a great time. Everybody's gonna have fun and uh, may the best mother win. I feel on fire. I'm about to knock a dude out in front of a lot of people. Oh. Yeah, we're good. No, you're great. Have some pikes. Come up, baby. Let's go. Welcome to Melee Fight League. My name is Craig Campbell. I'm joined tonight by you Ms. Know, Kiff. Ms. Kiff and our guy, EE. E. That's what he wanted the, tonight. The best unlocked character in the game, according to the lighting here. It's a little, <laughs> a little tough right now, but we're in here about to have some good times. How you feeling, boys? So, feeling Fantastic. great. Uh, we're glad to be here, chat. We have a lot going on right now. We are getting ready for the fights in our first ever uh, MMA match. We have 10 matches that are happening tonight. Two of them will not be MMA. They will be, uh, I believe it is... Grappling. Grappling. Yep, yeah, no yep. grappling. <laughs> now, Chad, this is also a free MMA fight. Now, usually there's pay-per-view. Usually there's other ways of getting it. Sometimes in a Discord. However, this one is completely free. You will have the free option to watch this entire thing that is put on by Iron Forge Gym. So it will be entirely free. You can enjoy the fight right here. I do expect to see a lot of ooze in chat whenever the fights are happening. So all I ask from the chat is just be as active as possible. I do want to see you guys spamming and namming nonstop. But other than that, we got ourselves a great show, folks. We have a lot of uh, we have a lot of the top amateur fighters from our gym coming out tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Iron Forge Gym in Round Rock, Texas. Tonight's broadcast is being streamed on Twitch live around the world on Mizka, M-I-Z-K-I-F. Tweet it out, send it out, get on your Facebooks. Let's get some eyes on this. It's going to be some good fights tonight. Tonight your in-ring interviews will be conducted by Miss Fandy. And now it's time for Melee at the Forge, your first bout of the evening. Entering the arena out of the blue corner, Zay English. So here we go. We've got our first guy coming to the cage, Isaiah English, uh, making his debut here. This is the first fight of the night. Okay. We've got, uh, like we said, 10 fights also. A uh, co-main event, a 145 title, and our main event is a 135 title. So those are amateur titles here in the state of Texas. Um Exciting stuff here. First guy in the cage, ready to go. His opponent, Aaron Vasquez. So it's always really interesting to see guys who come in on their debut because yeah. no tape, you couldn't see what your opponent was gonna do. These, both of these guys have literally no idea what's gonna happen. They might go, oh, this gym likes to kickbox, or sure. this likes to grapple, but really it's just up in the air for all of us to find out. I'll tell you what, that's one of the more exciting parts of the fight, but it's also one of the more terrifying if you're on that side of the cage because you're not exactly sure oh, yeah. what to expect, but you know it's going to be a problem either way. Listen, your debut, professional or amateur, is an absolute roller coaster yes. of adrenaline. It's it's pretty crazy, and I'm sure, especially with the uh, with the uh, views and the cage experience that they have tonight, that adrenaline is going to be pumped up even more. As it should be as it absolutely should be, just making their way to the cage again. The amount of support that I'm seeing right now on another level for Aaron. Aaron and Isaiah, gonna hold it down. Chad, I hope you're doing well out there. How we feeling, Chad? Ladies and gentlemen, this first bout is at 150 pound catchweight class. It is scheduled for three three minute rounds. 
Your referee in charge, Nick the Ghost Gonzalez. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. He is, he is in his MMA debut, standing five foot seven inches tall, weighing in at 152.5 pounds. He is from Angelo Gym in San Angelo, Texas, Jay English. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, also in his MMA debut, standing at five foot seven inches tall, Official weight, 147.7 pounds, representing Storm MMA Iron Force out of Temple, Texas, Aaron the Squeeze Vasquez. Well, we know who everyone's here to see. You know, I'll tell you what, I don't know if we have official crowd mics, but I don't think we need it with this guy in the ring, okay? The support right now is that he came, this man came deep. The whole family reunion done pulled up for this, so you better show up. And here we are, round one of our catch weight bout at 150 for these two debut fighters. Mm. Blue comes out of the corner quickly with a low oh, kick and a hard oh, strike. Oh, tag him quick. Here we go. Very fast and aggressive start here for these guys. And I love that too. That's letting he's setting the tone early, letting them know I don't care how much support you got in the crowd, it's all about what you got in the ring. Yeah, and Isaiah came out hard with that kick and that two. As you can tell he's feeling it too, Craig. Aaron settling a little bit. Both of these guys looking to find the range a little bit more easily. And that's the thing with these amateurs, they can sometimes frantically rush in yep. and then they kind of have to take another moment. Ooh, a big right. Got him right on the chin there. Didn't flinch too much though. So didn't get quite all of that. Gotta be careful how he's coming in though. You don't want to leave yourself too susceptible. That range can be killer at times. Oh, and there it is. Little one, two piece, get him hands up. Ooh. Mm. You see both of these guys pretty content to strike, but you can already see uh, Vasquez look there like he might reach down for a takedown. Yep. Maybe a single leg or double leg if he can get down to that point. Just something to kind of quell some of this momentum. Ooh, heard that one. Okay. Again, three three-minute rounds of all combat action here. Live on Twitch. English TV looking slash good Mr. here. Oh, big takedown. Vasquez turns it around and gets the takedown into side control, now holding English into that position. And how long, Craig, do you think can maintain this? Is this a strategy to make it to the end of the round, or are we trying to end it right now? No, what you need to do is slowly start to control and pepper your opponent. As you can see, he's going to start to land those blows yep. and try to really, really wear on him. Oh, my Lord. And no protection at all. Got to get some defense cooking here. The crowd is as loud as it could be, chat. It is screaming right now. He's working there for a key lock. This is an arm lock. Uh, Vasquez able to, uh, excuse me, English able to throw his arm out there. Yep. High intensity here this first round. It's Absolutely. been nonstop. You want to talk about a tone setter? This is it right now. Letting you know of what's to come and then some. These two athletes just stunning everybody right now with the show they're putting on. And it's only round one. Vasquez is really starting to wear down get a little bit more control here. You can see English having a little bit of cardio break there. Yep. <laughs> Exerting a lot of a lot of energy in the beginning. Right? Again, this is just round one. A little tie up right now. As long as you can weather through the storm, you'll be all right. But you need this break to come sooner rather than later. And that is the timer there. Short time, 10 seconds left. We'll be moving into the second round here shortly. All right, so and that is the end of round one. End of round one, and what a round one it was. Welcome to Melee at the Forge, boys. Jeez. God, dang. I think this, this event is appropriately named because that was a melee we just saw put on display. Yeah, Get ready for a long evening. E, I think he called it, man, uh, offense. Yes. Just right from the ding, ding, ding. These boys <laughs> ran right at each other. Slowed down there for a moment as they found their range. And then you can see that English really was like, okay, I think I've found my striking. 
Vasquez able to find that takedown and turn the tide. And that's where we'll always see in these amateur fights. If you've got good striking, do you have enough defense to keep it striking? Correct, yeah. And to your point, Craig, you had, you had kind of noted on it too, how he was kind of hunting for maybe getting ready in that position for that takedown. The fact he was able to execute it tells me he knew exactly, okay, I'm in a position where I might want to put it to the ground, put it to the mat, let me take full advantage of it. Something to definitely keep an eye on for the next two rounds coming up. Yep. What are you thinking, Miz? You like what you're seeing? I'm liking what I'm seeing right now, John. It looks absolutely incredible. Olinity getting knocked out of the ring first. As she gets stormed out of here. <laughs> Olinity freaking out as she walks down the stage. Here we go for round two. <laughs> all right. Can they oh. keep the pace? They can, baby. Come on. No breaks, all gas. Get those hands up. Oh, what? Oh, oh big boy. flying oh. knee into the takedown. Okay. And again, Vasquez finds himself on top in the grappling position. An armbar attempt from English. Oh. He's got it locked. The oh. big slam out. But it, that will make it tighter sometimes. English still looking for the finish. Lord have mercy. Very fast action here in the second round, but it does look like Vasquez is going to be able to withstand that attack from English. Love that eagle cam view we're getting to. You get all angles when it comes to Iron Forge. No hits missed. Right, they're still there here. Yeah, you can see him. He's working this. He's looking for a Kimura. Yep. This is an arm lock. He's got that arm oh. lock in. He's trying to solidify it. Oh, he can crank he do it? that over. Ooh. English in a rough spot here. It's a little tough right now. This is oh. not where he wants to be. Oh, trying to oh. muscle his way oh, through it, the though. the athleticism. Yep. Just saying, absolutely not refusing. You got to have, I mean, Craig, you know this better than anybody. Even when you're on the mat, you got to have a no-quit attitude the entirety of the time. Yeah, these gentlemen might be amateurs in their skills and abilities, but I promise you their heart's the same as any guy that gets in that cage. Yes, sir. A lot of energy expended here in this second round. Yeah. English finds himself in the defensive position, but looks to change the tide here with a single of oh. his own. Oh. Dumps him. Uh-oh. I'm trying to get up, all right, putting a little bit of space Decides between them. to let Vasquez back up. Uh, no. oh, 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 big two! Oh, 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 he's oh, he's done! Oh, he's done! Oh, he's Can he done. get the finish? He's killing him! Oh, he's killing him! Oh, oh. Round two, oh, the referee's Lord. watching. He's letting it go! He's watching. This ref is a thug, oh, he's letting it go! Oh, he's trying to up. Vasquez, a warrior's heart back on his feet, underhooks. Oh, he just has to survive. He just has oh, to survive. He, oh, this is not looking good. Oh, my goodness. And this is what happens. Can he keep it on the feet? English needs it up. Vasquez needs it down. They're both so exhausted Short time right now. time here in the second round. Oh, he's wailing. He's wailing on him. Craig, are we close to the 10 minute? We've got to be close to the end. Oh, Lord. That clock. It looks oh, like Vasquez is losing a he, little bit of his, uh, his uh, gas here. He English it. laying it in. I don't know. It in him. I don't know. He can barely keep his hands up. He can barely keep his hands up. Can he hold it for the time? It's over! It's over! Woo! Round one, two. English gets the finish. Round two. I tell you, you might, you didn't know what to expect out of this event. I bet you know now. I bet you figured it out. Tell your friends. Tell your loved ones. Tell everybody. We in this bitch and we going crazy. Woo! Incredible flourish to end the fight by English. Really, really showed his athleticism because they did not stop from the beginning of round one. Lord have mercy. That was crazy, bro. Jesus. That was wild. <laughs> Isaiah hey. English. Hey, I've done a lot of fights. That was a good start. That was a, that good, was start. a good start. That's what you want. Woo! In the ring right now, composing everybody, making sure we all good. Last name is English, but every, every language knows what we just saw. All right? Every language knows. Come on, Chad. And Aaron Vasquez did a really good job. He he just, it looked like they just went 100%. And at the end there, English's aggression in athletics got the better stop of this fight. That's Two bad. minutes and 35 seconds. Lord have mercy. Into the second round for your winner by TKO, Isaiah English. What a way to start the night. That was incredible. Awesome start. We're going to be going in here for an in-cage interview from... That's 
That's a whole group shot right there. I'll tell you what, that's everybody he walked into the ring with. He said, I don't need a family reunion, bro. I just need these two hands, these two paws I'm going to put you on you. We're now having the fighters leave the cage. If you guys do not understand what's going on right now, they're getting checked from everyone, the healthcare, making sure they're all good to go. But that was a, I think, a pretty bloody match for round for the first one. Here from the winner now. God, I put a lot of my training in through Christ. So, you know, if God standing with me, no man can stand against me. I live by that all day. And then my coaches are amazing all camp. I've been saying all these little interviews they got me doing. Had the best coaches, had the best sparring partners. No one's, no one was ready. It wasn't ready for Isaiah. Well, you did amazing. Absolutely incredible. Thank you. Oh, you're good. Good job. Well, there you have it, chat. I'll tell you what. Isaiah's a different animal walking down victorious. Look at him. Good job. Good stuff. We see you, kid. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. One time. Hey. Come on now. That's the debut, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. First of many. Come on now. I'm tapped in already, Isaiah. I'm tapped in. I ain't trying to get tapped out. You heard me? Did you hear me? Like I told you, I'm telling you, you boys are motivated. Over here. Yeah, yeah. They know the views and show it out. And I'll tell you what, everyone's gonna have their the work cut out for them. So that was an awesome day for you. Good awesome luck following that up. But I, I welcome everybody to take the challenge because as good as they were, we know we have other talented fighters peppered all throughout this card who are looking to make their mark here in Iron Forge. Generally speaking, the lighter weights, you know, it gets faster. That was 150. Our yep. next bout is at 135, so I don't think the speed's going anywhere. <laughs> All right, for your second All bout right, of the evening. And the 150-pound catchweight class fighting out of the blue quarter, entering the arena, Angel Sarabia. Too. I like how we're doing this in the middle of the afternoon. Oh, of course. I hate fights. Dude, they put fights on. They start at 7 o'clock, and then we're there till 1 in the morning. Nobody wants to be there. Nobody Wait, wants to do all they that. They leave after their guy fights, whereas, like, in the middle of the afternoon, bro, I hang out. Let's go. Yeah, chill. exactly, bro. I'm, I'm down for it, man. Yeah, I like it. That's you know, a, I'd smart. rather have a night fight. What's really? that? I'd rather have a night fight. I like, just, I, I, from, a, from a fighter's perspective, you'd rather have a night fight? Oh, no, not as a fighter, but I'd rather just drink and then just go home while asleep. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. But the problem is, is you can't, tr you get done with the fights, you can't go out. Uh, so that's what I'm saying. They always have the after party, but yeah. the after party's an hour because we got out at one. Mm. You get to the bar, you can't even have a drink. We're done tonight, baby. Hey, we can light this thing down. Hey, that's true. I don't know about these after hour spots, bro. I, I tell you what, midnight rolls around, put on some Netflix and I'm chilling. If it's by <laughs> myself, that's fine, but I'm going to get some sleep. I'm talking big right now. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm normally up at 5 a.m. to coach, so oh, dang, okay. I go to bed at like 9 o'clock every night. Craig's not playing with him, Chad. He's not playing with him. No, Let's no, go. no. I'm still fighting. I'm not retired yet. I'm Hell not, yeah. Love that. Not done yet. Now, where do you call home, Craig? Uh, actually, Texarkana, Texas. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I've moved around a lot. I've been all over traveling, training, um, but I've lived there for the last 10 years. I have two awesome. gyms in that area. Uh, really? So, yeah. So maybe we could maybe we could, maybe we could come through and get a training session with Craig sometime. Home, baby, let's go. You can let's come go. through I here. Yes, yeah, cool. I'd love to. Oh man, love I love to. that. I like the sound of that. I got let's a go. couple of fighters, some pro fighters, some Amy kids, just trying to lay that lay that uh, ladder down for the next generation. Hell yeah. So that's what it's all about, right there, for man. For sure. Keeping it going. I tell you what, if that first fight was in the indication, next generation probably in some good hands. By the way, chat, if you would like to support the stream, this is a free MMA ev event. If you'd like to use your Twitch Prime, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, this is a free event, by the way, and we are not doing any ads whatsoever because we didn't get any. So, if you'd like to support us, go ahead and use your Twitch Prime. Also, a follow on the Instagram is all we're asking for tonight, folks. But other than that, we have nine more fights happening right now Crazy. after that TKO. We are looking at two that are going to be uh, not MMA, but the others are all MMA. It's going to be crazy tonight. All right, and I, I think I see our next fighters getting ready to make their way into the cage. Another uh, full entourage.
Well, I'll tell you what, this is an MMA fighter, the BET Awards, but they're coming through thick right now. They're coming through thick. <laughs> At every fight, the back room, they have to be like, hey, man, two corners. Two Come on. That's it. Come on, man. <laughs> It's crazy. I out know here, your man. grandma loves you, but you gotta leave her in the stands, big dog. You gotta leave come her on, in the Craig. stands. Come on, Craig. Come on, Craig. Don't do me like. Hey, now, come on. I've lost a job on my day off too, so don't. Let's not start that shit. Here we go. is a very good gym, uh, an overall MMA gym, so uh, you're not going to see any one skill kind of overly dominate uh, good boxing to MMA, uh, excuse me, wrestling skills, so uh, will be interesting to see if uh, just relies on the striking like our last match, yeah. or if it tries to be a little bit multifaceted. Pretty big 135-er, looking at him right there. That's a tall, taller kid for 35. That's, so. a, that's a tall 135 for sure. Definitely got some length on him. It'd be very helpful, of course, in a fighting and his like opponent this, fighting know. out of the red corner, entering the arena, Otto Cahes. But we also see half of Iron Forge Gym coming out right now for this next fight. The team is all one family. They are ready to go. You have RJ right there, ready to grab the shirt. He's been trading him for so years. That's really awesome. So I really love when I see the guys, you know, from the promotion yeah. getting good fights. Not easy fed fights. And this is a good fight from a good gym for a good opponent. Yep. Um, I think that's really important for everybody to listen to because a lot of MMA promotion guys, they just feed people. They just give guys bum fights, unmatched fights. And uh, I promise you, you're going to see some really fun matches tonight because uh, this is a good matchup between Iron Forge and uh, SFS and gym styles and matchups matter, especially at the lower level where your coach really has that influence over you. Well, tell me something, Craig. How prevalent is it in the MMA world, gym rivalries, right? Is that something that really kind of fuels your ability or your desire to win even more in that it, cage? It can, but it's a pretty small community. So okay. as you start to grow, you, you're usually cross-training with a lot of guys. So it really depends. It, it's more of, does your coach get along with the other coaches? I hear you. Okay. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Absolutely fair. I'll fight my grandma. Ladies and right gentlemen, <laughs> this is for the 150-pound catch weight class. Your referee in charge, Joe Ojeda. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. Entering tonight's contest with zero wins against one defeat. Standing five foot ten inches tall. Weighing in at 145.1 pounds, he represents FSF MMA from Big D, Dallas, Texas, Angel Jaguar Pa Sarbia. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, entering tonight's contest with a one in one record. Standing five foot nine inches tall, official weight 153.4 pounds. He represents Iron Forge Jim from the ATX Austin, Texas. Otto Kafes. Otto looks locked in. Otto looks locked in. I, I, I'm t I couldn't tell if the man even blinked the whole time during the announcements. I mean, Lord have mercy, staring a hole right through him. So but can he punch go. one? Otto Cafis, is yeah. that correct? Yes, that's correct. One and one out of the red corner against Angel Sarabia. 0 and one out of the blue corner. Here we go. Round number one. Feeling each other out early. Not the quick rush in that we saw in the previous bout. Yeah, that's, that's what we call debut, uh, you know, run and clash. Yeah. These guys each have a couple fights. They're going to find their range, work their tactics and angles, try to get their game plan their coach has given them. Ooh, nice little high kick, targeting the head. But... A lot of patience right now. I hear a couple of the coaches saying, get in there, don't be afraid. 
Love that. Sideline coaching, trying to get their fighters engaged, get this party started. Oh, ooh. Not gonna hear too many love taps in this cage. Seems like a much more technical fight, this one. Yeah, you can really see Angel trying to set his range with his kicks. Mm. Ooh, ooh. Uh oh, all right, grab that. Oh, oh my cage! We reinforced it, folks. You're fine on the sideline. We reinforced it. Oh, nice Uchimata trip there. Does not fall Angel to the ground. Deciding to stay in front of him. I like that stance too. He's not. He's not gonna allow him to crowd him or put him in a bad position. Just lets him up. He says, "Come on now, get on your feet." Auto's not for the games right now. Doing a good job of keeping him on his back foot with those kicks and long range punches. And I can tell just the way this one's shaping up, Craig. I feel like this has all the makings of maybe making it to the third round, right? Because we're not overexpending too much energy right now. And you're really using this first round as a feel out process. Yeah, much more measured here. And you can see Otto really not expending a lot of energy, looking for his shots, seeing if he can clip him with a head kick. Oh! Try to come over the top with that one. Oh, great shot. Clipped him a little nice bit. there. Angel oh. going for a guillotine, but in a weird position there. Otto drives him to the cage. Looking for the single leg to relieve that pressure. All right. Trying to use some leverage right now. This is where a lot of energy can be wasted. You know, you're just pushing that guy into the cage. Yep. Sometimes it can be better to just release, maybe come back up and down, single leg, double leg, go to some strikes. Um, you know, as you get a little bit further into the uh, ranks, sometimes you can recognize that. But this could win the round for Otto. This little action here, maybe a takedown. Oh, oh I like that. Look at that pressure. Oh, he wobbled him a little bit. He wobbled him a little bit. He's lucky that cage was there to catch him because that ass was going down. Oof. Yeah, a very, very sharp round from Angel Sarabia uh, coming out crisp with his strikes and his kicks. Otto landed a couple nice overhands yeah. and uh, attempted to uh, kind of a uh, couple head kicks. Um, be interesting to see what adjustments are made there in the corners. Yeah, that seemed like a much more technical fight. I uh, was very surprised with those kicks. So do they do those kicks like that? Is that like a testing something? Like are they trying to test them basically with those kicks? Well, I mean, the crazy thing is, is uh, most of MMA is about controlling, dictating the ranges and how they change. Right. So yeah, he's really trying to, what we call tee him up, mm -hmm. keep him at bay so that when he crashes, he can hit him with his big punches. Or what Otto seems to be doing is the same thing, but looking for that head kick. Get him thinking low and then go high. Mm -hmm. Now, I remember when I was a wrestler, you wanted to be in the center of the ring as much as possible. Is that the same thing with MMA? I was about to say, and you're a 100% on, it depends on the judging. But most times, if you're the guy moving backwards and not landing, you're not winning the round. Okay. You that know, aggression matters. Good to know. All right, aggression does matter. We saw some mild bits of it in that round number one, but round number two could expect the action to hit an all-time high right now. Here we go. Auto and Angel, round number two. Again, a little bit of a feel-out process. Expect some more hard strikes, though, coming down the pipe. I like that. Use that kick to open him up a little bit. Shakes the defense. Oh. Angel seems to be content keeping him on his back foot, looking yeah. for combinations, where Otto seems to be content looking for one shot. I think both of these strategies can be effective if you're strong in them. So it'll be it'll be interesting to see. Oh! 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 And oh my God! The and it's all over. Oh my God! And as you can see, oh, Lord. volume oh. is usually king. Lord have mercy! And Angel oh. drops Otto with a oh. huge hook. I tell you what, his name's Angel, but the other guy got the halo. He knocked his ass out. S F F M M A, got it. Hey, at least I talked up. I talked you good. My bad. Lord have mercy. You got me so. Is he seeing straight? That was rough. Is he seeing straight? Hey, hey. Do we have a? Uh, can we see an instant replay of that, possibly, folks? Yeah, I believe it was a left hook. 
If we can see this, we're it was the left hook, and God, chat, I'm telling you, you heard that from across the entire room. You heard the clack onto his head. That was just sounded extremely painful. Uh, yeah, one of the problems was it looked like he was kind of turning away as the punch landed. And anytime you don't see it, it doesn't, I mean, it's not a good night. Not at all. And, it, and, that's, and that's the danger of M MMA, right? It can happen in the blink of an eye, like a viper striking. You don't see it coming, but you're damn sure going to feel it. Man, oh man, Angel, a different beast in that cage. And you can see, I love that. I wish we could get a better camera shot on his face. A lot of emotion on Angel's face right now. Really just Ladies in the moment. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight was stopped 39 seconds into the second round. For your winner, by TKO, Angel Sarabia. A lot of emotion there. In a, a little as a lovely bandy is going to go in the uh, ring to conduct a post match interview with Isaiah, or excuse me, Angel. Yeah, Get a little, little selfie action in there as he should. Let's hear from the winner. That fight was over before we knew it. How are you feeling right now? I feel on top of the world. <laughs> That's how I feel. Well, did the amount of training that you do prepare you for this today? Yes, I was going to take anybody. My guy pulled out. They gave me somebody new. I appreciate him stepping in. Yep. But I, I, I came here to work. came to do my work. Well, you did incredible today. Go get some rest. You've earned it. Back to you guys, casters. All right. Thank you so much, Fandy. To say he earned it, a little bit of an understatement. Definitely, definitely hey, held that one down. Let's get it right for my guys because I know this gym. I feel bad. But SFS. I'm pretty sure that's what I said. But maybe I said FSS. But SFS, these guys are high speed, and Angel just displayed that high speed skill. Definitely. A man of very few words as well. He just said he went in there, he would fight anybody, and he left. Seems very scary. Iron Force Gym right now, 0-2 tonight. Uh, he's not doing the best, but you know what? Uh, we're having fun. That's all that matters. At the end of the day, you know, we want to put on a good, fun event. All right, our third bout of the, of the day. Chat. Is in the 185 pound weight class. Entering the arena in the blue corner, Nermel Babic. Who Spotify is this? Who Spotify is this? This is hot. Making his way to the cage now, no, no, Nermo Babic out of the blue corner. Let's see, out of 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu. So, this should be a change. 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu guy, we've seen nothing but striking. Are we going to see somebody take it to the ground and look for submissions now? I'm sorry, this playlist got me gassed right now, bro. They got Ray Kwan playing. This is different out here. You know that Ray Kwan, Craig? That Ray Kwan? You knew the answer to that before you asked me, dog. You knew. My man, my man, hey, hey, come on setup. now. I don't have to set me up that bad. I'm sorry, I'm going off right now. Oh, shit. Cuban Link type vibe. Chad, if you know, you know. I'm gonna say though, love the atmosphere, man. That's uh, the the fighters, uh, the the gym, just the vibe, everything. And you know what? Yeah, the fighters for us guys might not be doing great, but you know, I think I as I said, a testament to a good promotion and trying to get your guys good fights yep. is more important than padding your record, Absolutely. especially as an amateur. Yep. I mean, as a pro, hey, maybe a couple, but as an ami. Come on, let's find out if this is what we're going to do. Listen, what's great about this event is you can see everyone's family and friends are all out here right now yes. at the seats, uh, standing up for this, waiting for them to fight. We have everyone's out here supporting each other. 
And I can see half the gym members are here also to support the people. It's great to see. Yeah, and a lot, if you can't see, I don't know if the camera pans up, but there's about double the amount of people on the balcony above us up here. So there's a, a, a pretty large crowd, oh, despite is, the space we're packed into. There oh, is yeah. no shortage of asses in the seats for this quarter. event. The the arena, team, Nick right. Rodriguez. Nicholas Rodriguez, oh Iron Forge MMA, 185. I'm a striker. I can do it all. I am a debut. We have Crazy Eye Nick right now, ready to go. One of Chad's absolute favorites. He's been here since day one for the gym. He is a crazy man with a crazy face. This was the most scary man I saw yesterday. Yes. Him, and he was saying hello to me. <laughs> if I, I tell you what, if a greeting breeds intimidation, that's a good sign for them. Very good sign. Nick has been training for this for months. He is an absolute monster. Is this his debut? I don't think it is. Um, I didn't get any info on these. I do believe it might be their debut. Um, I'm not sure. We didn't get anything on the paperwork, unfortunately. I'll tell you what, we might know within the first round. Get those jitters in there, be just a stone cold killing machine. Nick is also a huge fan of World of Warcraft. He's actually really? a massive admirable viewer, yes. Okay. And here he comes in. Man. The beast! Looks like a monster to me. This guy is ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is for the 185 pound weight class and is scheduled for three three minute rounds. Referee in charge, Nick the Ghost Gonzalez. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner in his MMA debut, standing at six foot tall. Official weight, 183.1 pounds, representing Frey MMA from Fort Worth, Texas, Norman Barry! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, also in his MMA debut, standing at six foot one inch tall, official weight 184.4 pounds, representing Iron Four Jim in the ATX, Austin, Texas, Nick An absolute crowd favorite. You can see the crowd cheering from outside of the ring. It's just insane to see with Nick. Yeah, Nick looks like a dangerous man. I'm going to just put it out there. Now, looks can be deceiving at times, but when you're willing to step into an MMA cage, I got no reason to sleep on it. Oh, we see some big hooks being exchanged right there. Oh, my God. There we go. That shot damn near took him off his feet. All right, we got Nick here. Definitely not looking oh. nervous. He's throwing them kicks up high. Oh, oh! An axe kick, so coming out with the a lot of kicks here. Ooh. Nice tie up we got going on. So. This might be headed towards the ground. Depending on how this tie up goes, Cage keeping them both on their feet momentarily. You can see there the referee running to make sure they don't grab the cage. Yeah, 100%. Just natural instinct. Yep, yep. Cannot use the cage for leverage or assistance. It's got to be me, myself, and I type beating that cage. Right, they're definitely leaning. I see some knees being exchanged right to the body. Rodriguez doing a good job of keeping his head pressure and his uh, falling the underhook. Uh, able to smother there on the cage. It's always better when you do that with good technique. You yeah. can let the other guy get worn out trying to escape and then look for your takedown and big shot as you exit. Oh, as he was right there. Big right shots on the side. transition. Uh-oh. Oh, man. He's putting that pressure on Nick. Nick is exploding right now. Back and, and forth are Rodriguez and Babbitt. 
now. And, and there you go. There's that reinforced knee to the head. Accidental, though, you can see. So no point taken, but a warning from the ref. Next one will be a point. Superman punch into the takedown attempt. Got to watch those knees. We understand at an amateur level, those are barred. In the way you just described there, Craig. But still, yeah, I can throw a knee if I'm jumping or to the body, but I cannot reinforce it to the head. Correct. Something you have to keep in mind as a guy who's enjoying all the bouts throughout the night. This one, of course, no exception to being a good one, Nick, and normal. Stumbles there. Attacking himself. Oh, that was a straight shot, I think. One more headmaker trying to put him on. Both of these guys are throwing the kitchen sink this first round. Spinning back fist there. Agreed. Light tap back above for a second. Seeing a little bit of exhaustion starting to set in on both sides. Oh, a big knee again, but it was reinforced. Those knees, man. Ooh, I'm surprised. Knees. I would be surprised if we don't get a point here. And there's a the time. Oof. I, I, I almost think you have to get that point deduction I, to make sure it sticks to the next round. I'm going to be honest with you. Two things just happened there. I'm very surprised at. One, the time did not stop as he brought him to the corner. Two, he did not take a point for something he had just warned him for already in the round. Now, it is the referee's discretion. Right. He could let he could let him do it again, and he could, it, it's really his choice. So, so knees are not allowed? Knees are allowed, reinforcing knees to the head in uh, amateurs or elite. Yeah. 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 Now, I think both of those were heat of the moment. There was no malicious intent. He wasn't trying to break the rules. Um, so the referee can give leeway. But I'm going to agree. I think it's better to just take the point so it doesn't happen again. Right. And then we don't have to worry about the foul. The crowd or, is not happy about this one at all with the knee. Or if the knee injured him. And now it affects him going forward and he can't fight the same and he doesn't get that point. I'm pretty sure one of his eyes is messed up right now from him. It's not good. Now will that anger and motivate him to come out and try to finish in this round? We might get nasty Nick coming up next. Let's see. Nick definitely looked like he was hitting a little harder while uh, oh. Baby was a little faster. Axe kick again from Baby, but he gets rocked and it goes. Another two from Nick. Nick has found his range on that too. comes in with that Muay Thai, he wants to kind of grab and clinch and put his hands on Nick, and Nick has none of it, just throwing that two back. Ooh! Oh, he caught him flush, that was big! Switch teeth to the face. Oh, to the oh. cut too! He's down! He's I don't know, it's, it's a groin strike. Was it a groin? Was it a little lower than I thought? Oh, 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 oh. Uh -oh. Reinforced knees, we got nut shots. I didn't know this was a hardcore match. What the heck? We're out here fighting like Nick Foden. Yeah, and most of those are accidental. You can just see the fatigue kind of setting in there once you're going. Super fast pace for 185 debuts, though. That's something that, you know, I, I, a lot of people who haven't watched a lot of fights might not realize, but almost all these fights have been the same pace, but they're all different weight classes, which Correct. is pretty incredible. Right. You can really tell the vibe and just everything, the, the atmosphere in here is really energetic right now, guys. It's right. super energetic. And it's so I'm glad you pointed that out, Kerry, because from start to this point right now, the crowd has not lost any bit of energy. No. And I think that's due to the fact that these fighters continue to bring it every single round. And after that rest, Nick comes out aggressive, ready. Nick is pissed. Babic has got to be careful about that knee to the head. He keeps clinching and throwing that knee. He's a Muay Thai. You can tell by the way he's marching. He's a Muay Thai fighter, so he is taught to grab the head and knee. Babbitt is just relentless. 
relentless with the volume, though. He's just not stopping. Not stopping. Don't overwhelm him. I really would. Yeah. He comes down and then maybe find that striking finishing blow to end it in this round. So yeah, again. Nick definitely the harder striker when he lands, but uh, Babic is putting the volume on him here. They're coming in bunches from Babic. I'm going to say for the record, this is the most axe kicks I've ever seen in an MMA fight. <laughs> he has thrown five or six axe kicks. I have never, never seen that in an AMI MMA fight. Yeah, it's almost like it's, it's traditionally used as like a surprise, right? But he's just it's one spamming of the, it. One of the main hallmarks of his offense. Absolutely. Uh oh, Nick. All right, Nick's the aggressor now. Here we go. There we go, Nick. The strikes coming through. Oh, a furious oh. set of blows. Oh, can he capitalize? The combo. And how the tides have turned. Oh, no. Now oh. Nick's volume is landing. Those hands were wobbling, too. If Nick could have got one solid blow to the head, it might have been enough to drop him. And you can see now as the fatigue sets in, it's will they have enough power to put each other down. Correct. It might be a volume game. Very short time left here in the round. Yep. Oh! 10 second clapper. Just gotta survive at this point. Regroup. He is definitely tired. Whipping off some of these hits. I think he's gonna make it. Yes, and there is the horn. Good to go. A very back and forth round. I would hate to be a judge for that one. Because realistically, it was exchange for exchange. Babic went for about a minute. Uh, Rodriguez goes for about a minute. Then we go punch for punch. Then we go series for series. And we end right there with Babic a little bit more on his forward foot. He's throwing more dynamic, crazy strikes. Yeah. But I don't know if more of them are landing. Let me ask you a question. Is this crane kick that he's trying to do, is this a, is this a good strategy? or is this So that, that one, okay, so the, the crane kick, I can show it. I have a black belt in Goju, too. I didn't bring that up because people make fun of me. But right. I can show that. The crane kick, that's an axe kick. So he ah. brings his leg up, yep. and he's chopping it like an axe. Super effective. But as EE e. was saying, typically a more of a surprise move. You might throw once or twice. Spamming it. I mean, he has no fear of being taken down. If he's right. just throwing it like that, he just that's, assumes that's what I'm thinking, we're Craig. not going to the ground. You're leaving yourself so vulnerable to like a single leg takedown. Yeah, down. as a wrestler myself, yeah. I'm just thinking, tackle, I, tackle. I, 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 you're trying to almost bait that in at that point because you know it's so ingrained in his offense. You want to take that down. Almost using that Muay Thai against him in a way. Yes. And our last round here in this absolute barn burner at 185. Yep. Nick Rodriguez and Nermo Babic putting it all on the line here at Melee at the Forge. It has been an incredible bout thus far, but there can only be one winner. We might actually go down to decision. Might get a decision. Yeah, it might be our first decision of the night. We'll see. Depends if that volume striking from Babic's enough or if Nick can land that closing blow he's been hunting for all throughout the match. If Nick can put a combination together to his two, He's got a very nice two. It's just Babic stays so busy and he doesn't give Nick an opportunity to set it up. There yeah. it is again. Another nice two down the pipe. It's just he needs a moment to set Babic's feet. Hey, comes in high with the knee. Oh, pushing him towards the cage. Really got to dig deep in this third round. They are going the distance. The fatigue has absolutely set in. It's not about energy and endurance right now. It's about heart and who's got a little bit more. Absolutely, and these guys are definitely probably looking at a 1-1 match, so the winner yeah. of this round could absolutely get the, the call tonight. Couldn't agree more, Craig, as they oh, take big reverse oh, right here. This is huge. And you can see Babic there holding on, trying to limit the damage. Nick moving into that full mount position, oh, oh, oh. raining down blows, oh, yes. looking for that flurry finish. Can he get it Donkey Kong style? Bing, 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 bing in the referee's eyes. Oh, oh. So close. Yeah. Yeah. It's over. It's over. There it it's is. Over. There it is. Rodriguez, TKO, oh. round three. When you get him on the ground like that and the defense completely good falters, by Nick right there. it's over, man. And Nick knew that, and we talked about getting that second win at the right time, Craig. That was the right time. The striking ability gets it done. 
for Nick, congratulations. And in such a back and forth even match, it really did come down to just absolute heart and timing, knowing when to turn it on and when to go for that finish. What an awesome display from the amateur Nick Rodriguez. He was going spamming the one button for the kick, but he spammed the Donkey Kong smash. He and did. it worked. He did. Awesome fight. And they're, and they're hearing it from the crowd right now. This crowd is electric. I don't know how there's more people in here. There it, are more people in here. I'll tell you what, these barricades Woo! are barely holding. And ladies and gentlemen, that is also the first win for Iron Forge. One minute and 53 seconds into round three for your winner by TKO Nick Rodriguez. Hey, they call him Nasty Nick, but you should call him Champ. Because that's what he performed like, amazing stuff. And again, Babic looking really fantastic, yeah. had some really awesome kicks, uh, really just spamming them, and it was yeah. really cool to see. But here into Fandy for our winner, Nick Rodriguez. Ooh. Can't wait to hear from Nick. We got Fandy in the ring. She's going to deliver the post-game interview. Nick's a gentleman. He's getting a shirt on for the lady. I respect that. The first victory it. of the night for Iron Forge. Jim, how are you feeling? We're looking. That shit was fucking crazy. That shit was awesome, man. I mean, I've worked so hard for this, and, uh, you know, I knew exactly how this was going to end up. Uh, there was no other option. When I was visualizing this fight upcoming, you know, there was losing wasn't even on the table. So I just had to come in here and get it done. And, uh, you know, God put this test in front of me and I conquered it. And it's just the beginning of this journey. And I got still so much to accomplish. But, hey, I want to give a big, big shout out to my coaches. You know, they believed in me. Big shout out to my opponent, his coaches, putting up a great fight, having the balls to come in enemy territory and fight a fight like this. It's not, it's not hard. It's not easy. So please give a hand to all, all the fighters. Everyone fighting an Iron Forge opponent, that's just tough, man. This crowd is awesome, man. You know, big shout out to my mom, my dad, my stepdad, my family that's here to support me. My beautiful girlfriend, Antonella. Hey, Everyone, yeah. I love you guys so much. And one last thing I want to say, guys, if anyone is struggling with mental health, addiction, substance abuse, I promise you that there is help and you have to want it. You have to search for it. I'm a prime example of what can happen when Let's go, Nick. you're at the bottom of the bottom and then you come in here and you do the damn thing. Turn your life to God, give it to your higher power, and just follow the road he lays down for you. God bless. Thank you, guys. Well said. What's up, guys? Hope you guys enjoy the fight, man. I put so much into it, and uh, this was a perfect culmination of it. You know, I went three hard rounds, but at the end, I pulled through like I always do. And I'm a fighter at the end of the day, and that goes in the cage in real life. Thank you to my boy Kyle right here. If it wasn't for this guy right here coming off 1-0, being one of the best wrestlers I know, I wouldn't be able to do the things I do. This guy pushes me in the gym every single day, and uh, I'm just so grateful for my team, my coaches, and I'm so grateful for this opportunity. Thank you, Miz, for putting this on. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Iron Force. MMA for giving us a home and uh, this is just the beginning. Absolutely and at the end of the day MMA is an awesome vehicle for a lot of these guys to improve their lives and get into a position where they can they can be the man or the provider for their community yeah. and uh, the people around them that maybe they weren't able to prior in life and I can tell you that, that I'm an example of that as well so that speaks a lot to me. I, I, I love the fact that he really highlighted that too because we have such a big audience such a big platform no, right now. Great job. Amazing and, fight brother. Yeah, you did great dude. And he is, he is like, that's somebody you want as like kind of like almost a spokesman for your team. And you mentioned earlier, what? Greg, how a lot of these promoters. They how about right here? You guys ready in the cheap seats? Somebody who they think What's is going on, VIP? Time. Nick is worth every Ah, uh, this VIP is weak. Come on, VIP. Let's hear you. All right. For our fourth pound of the night, it's a 135-pound weight class entering the arena, representing the blue corner, Caesar Estrada. He 
need to get this camera off these fighters and get it on the ring car, girl. We need to get this camera off these fighters. Right now, we've got the blue corner coming out. So that is, let me make sure I'm correct here. Yeah, should be blue first. So we've got. Now entering the arena in the red corner, Jaime Garza. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is in the 135-pound weight class and is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Your referee in charge, Mr. Joel Ojeda. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner with a record of one defeat, or one win to two defeats, standing five foot nine inches tall. Official weight, 135.9 pounds, representing SFS. MMA out of Muskie, Texas, Caesar Estrada. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner with a record of one win against four defeats, standing at five foot eight inches tall. Official weight, 136.8 pounds. Representing Iron Forge Jim in the ATX Austin, Texas, Jaime Garcia. Let's go, baby. Come on. To the point earlier, uh, talking about, you know, has Garza put in the work? Well, we're going to know that. He's, he's from the home gym. He's put the work in. All of these guys have shown up. And put that work yeah. in. So now it's going to be a matter of can he put it together tonight. Yeah, and the fun thing that's going for him, too, and you mentioned the fact, you know, this is home gym, right? Well, I guarantee you he's never fought on anything of this scale in this production. What a turnaround it could be in this amateur career for him to capture that first win here uh, against uh, Estrada here, who obviously, you know, one and two. So it's not like he's, you know, infallible. It's not like he can't be taken down. But, again, the work you put in will dictate what you get out of it. And here we go. And a takedown immediately here to start off our first round. Oh, man. Pressure getting to the fence, looking for that he kind knows of schoolyard bully beatdown, headlock position. All right. Definitely tied up here at the start of things. Oh, Estrada nice goes for a trip there, yep. ends up on top side control. Very good reversal for him to find himself in that position. Already. Okay, rear naked choke starting to unfold here. What are we going for? Yeah, already attacking the back. Very nice. Hooks in. Looking to attack the neck. Yep. You can see the hand fighting going on here. All right. Starting and to that's what I want to see. Pepper yeah. him up a little bit. Open him up. Kind of force his hand, right? You don't want to just have him land there. You want to force out some reactions. There it is. Burn that energy off. Starting to lock it up. You can see the hand going back to fight. This could be a very quick finish here, guys. Locked up. He's lost that grip again. Oh, no. Oh, and that oh, is right. deep he got him there. Under the now. That is, is deep. This is Garza dangerous. is in trouble. And it's it is oh, over. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Cesar Estrada with the rear naked choke wow. in the very first round. And hands him the 0-5. Oh my goodness. 
That, listen, I'm not going to lie to you. Craig, that was a quick one. That was I a quick one. I think it might have take, take longer to heat up my Hot Pocket than what we just saw in that cage. No disrespect, man. But, hey. hey. And that's where, you know, the uh, the nullifying factor of grappling can come really come in. Yeah. You know, even when both guys can barely strike or one guy's way better, there's that striker's chance. There's no grappler's luck. If you don't know how to wrestle or grapple, yeah. and I do, it's a wrap. That's tough. And that's what we saw right there. Unfortunately, the grappling and wrestling skills on display here. First round, RNC finish for Estrada. Man, just, I mean, look, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I could do any better. I get my ass kicked too. Don't get it twisted. I'm just saying it goes, it, it speaks wonders for Estrada that he recognized, okay, I can reverse this and almost get him in, again, that, that naked choke. You know what I'm saying? And just apply that pressure. You mentioned it, Craig. Like Ladies and gentlemen, Martin, referee Joe Ojeda has stopped this fight at what at, at 126 minutes into the first round. By submission via rear naked choke, your winner, Caesar Estrada. Yeah, and you know what? The the thing is, is somebody might look at Garza and his record and say, oh, man, what are we doing? What are we fighting for? Um, I'll tell you why. A lot of times, like we said previously, this can be a vehicle of improvement just for yourself as a man. Yes. I mean, to get into great shape, to get yourself into the mental space, to diet for eight weeks, to do the things that you need to do. And you know what? Another thing is, it's hard to start a gym. I did it, it 10 years ago. You're going to have a lot of failures. You're going to have a lot of ups and downs. But growing with those guys is what's important so really really cool to see the team come out here and support and i'm sure that we'll see uh garza back in the cage there's, there's nothing wrong with having growing pains how are you feeling right now no, not a, that's the point of man i'm feeling great man <laughs> <laughs> after this win winner. what is next for you man i'm trying to get back in there as soon as possible there's a couple dates i'm looking either in april or may you know i'm gonna go back to the gym put in the work talk to my coaches and my teammates see what's next for me we are super excited to see what you do next. Back to you guys. Oh. And I just want to give a shout out to SFS MMA in Mesquite, Texas. And thanks to my wife, I wouldn't be able to do any of this out here with her and any of my friends and the support of all my coaches and my teammates who put me through that work every day. Appreciate everybody coming out too. Enjoy the rest of the fights tonight. Absolutely. Right, nice job. And I've got a question, Miss Gift. I mean, training here, you know, knowing the guys intimately, I mean, just being a, a whole part of not only the production, but just, you know, these guys' lives. Yep. What's it like commentating and just sitting here and watching it? I mean, because I can see when you're well, watching Well, I think I'm sitting here like, watching. I'm not doing much of the commentating part. <laughs> you're fine, brother. Uh, Out of the evening, it is in the for the 160-pound catchweight division. Uh, like fighting out of the blue corner, entering the arena, Deontay Howard. I want to give a huge shout-out to you, Miz. Also, a huge shout out to Bandy. You guys coming together to put this event here on Iron Forge. Guys, if you're watching, if you're enjoying it, make sure you're spreading the link around. Tell your friends, tell your homies, let them know where we are. And of course, make sure and check and see if you got those Twitch Primes available, okay? Take a break from hot tubs, pools, and beach, uh, beaches. All right, take a break from that and show some love to an event like this, a straight up blood sport. And we got some baddies walking around here too, okay? It's a good time, no matter what you're into. And where can they follow these guys on Instagram, miss? Hey, if you guys want to support the stream, like I said, chat, all you have to do is just follow our Instagram. We are trying to grow our MMA audience. So if you would, and if you're enjoying the fights, please go ahead and follow our Instagram. It is pinned in the chat. My mods are spamming it right now as well. It is a absolute huge help if you could do that. I would greatly appreciate it. And with that, we are going to move into our fifth bout of the night. We've got Jackson Parks in a 155-pound battle against Deontay Howard. We've got 3-0 and o versus 0-3. Ooh, okay. Okay, so a little bit of a, uh, a streak there that I'm sure he's looking to keep intact. But I don't care if you're 0-3. Nobody you're looking across from in that cage is an easy out. No, I mean, listen, these records, they don't... Well, I mean, Someone could have caught a cold, and, and that's how he won the fight. I mean, there, it, you don't really know with these Amy fights. I mean, I don't mean to be rude, but you could have fought somebody who, you know, just doing it for a hobby. You could. There's lots of things. A pro you could have fought us. A pro, <laughs> <laughs> a pro fight. A pro fight record is usually a little bit more indicative of the skill set sure. of a person. An amateur record is exactly that. Nobody really remembers amateur records. It's not really important. 
So uh, be surprising to see uh, Jackson Parks and Deontay Howard here in our next bout. Exactly, and that is exactly what these amateur fights are all about, folks. We want to see these guys go in there and change that 0-3 to a 1-3. It can happen instantly. You know, yep. One punch can make the difference yep. here. And his opponent in the red corner, Jackson Parks. Oh, we have Jackson rolling out here from Iron Forge with the Yeezys on, ready to go. He's definitely one of the crowd favorites getting cheered on right now as he walks into the ring. I already can tell I like Jackson. Yeah. Oh. I like Jackson's vibe already. The, the look, the song, I'm here for it. And ladies and gentlemen, if you are tuning in from the front page, just know that there will be blood and Dan Clancy wants it. Dan Clancy endorses violence. You yes. heard it here first. <laughs> He's asking for it here, folks. <laughs> Especially putting up this, this match right now. This man has been training for months, waiting for this chance right now and he is going to go in there and I think he's going to do a great job. Yeah, I'm excited. I, I, again, none of these fights have disappointed up until this point, man. I'm expecting the trend to continue and as more and more people pour in, they're really going to get more and more invested hey, and as they should because this is just the start of many things to come with Iron Forge. Yep. Yeah, we're, we're past what I call the preliminary point of the card. You know, most of your debuts have already fought. Now we're getting yeah. into guys that have a record. Yep. They've fought, you know. Chad is spamming Forzen. <laughs> <laughs> and into the ring for our official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is in the 160 pound catch weight class. It is scheduled for three three minute rounds. Your referee in charge, Nick the Ghost Gonzalez. Introducing first, searching for his first win out of the blue corner. Standing six foot two inch tall, weighing in at 164.5 pounds from Fort Worth MMA out of Fort Worth, Texas, Deontay Howard. And his opponent entering tonight's contest out of the red corner, entering tonight's contest with three wins against seven losses. Standing six foot three inches tall, weighing it at 160.3 pounds. Representing Iron Forge Gym out of ATX Austin, Texas, Jackson Parks. All right. Get ready for perhaps a showstopper. 0-3 meets 3-0 in the cage right now. Again, as you said, Craig, those records, not indicative of what we're going to see here necessarily. But I think these fir this first round, at the very least, will be pretty Ooh. telling for Mr. Uh, Deontay here. Yeah. Big teep kick up the middle oh. for Deontay, but Jackson already in on the big double. Uh -oh. Scoops him away, drags him to the ground. And I like that too. He's kind of checking that defense early. Can you hang with me if I try and take you down to the ground? We saw this was the downfall in the previous round, you'll recall, of Mr. Garza. The great nullifier of grappling. I don't have to take damage if you can't keep me in the standing round. Correct. All right, Jackson. Let's see if we can start peppering in some hits at some point. Try and find some space to free those hands up. Yeah, you can see as he tries to bring his hips forward and bring his head onto the cage, Deontay doing a good job of maintaining posture and keeping him from ripping up to throw those blows, though. Yep. Those are the shots he wants to start to land, though. Ooh. Ooh. Pressure applied right now, not letting up on it. Say, falls into a, a light triangle attempt, but decides to let him back up. All right, Jackson put strikes to the face again. Deontay meeting him back, though. Comes over with a hook. Another Deontay. wild one. Got to be careful. You expend a lot of energy there, Craig, when you whip on those big hits. Yep. Missing is more of an energy expenditure than anything. Okay. Just like in oh, fight night. Oh, big hey, cross hey, from hey. Jackson. Hey, takes him down again. Jackson relentless. Jackson! Jackson's got him hurt with that, too. That was yeah. nice transitions. 
up kick there to the triangle, though. Deontay. Whew. Deontay, okay, I, I like what he's doing with his feet there, wrapping him around the midsection, trying to at least keep him a bit contained, if at all possible, though. Don't get it twisted, though. Jackson being the aggressor and the controller right now as those hands come to cover oh, Deontay's oh, oh. face. See, full guard's great if you're going to do something with it, throw a triangle and armbar, but right now Deontay's holding his attacker on top of him. Yep. He needs to attack with a submission or open his guard to look to get back to his feet. Holding him down on top of him, it's, it's, he's, not, uh, he's not a Gracie from the 2000s. It's you. not going to work. <laughs> a little no bueno on that one. Jackson knows how to deal with that, as you can see. Yeah, for sure. And look at all that leverage he's got on him right now. Just going to be able to find places to place a couple of those hits. Not the most damaging, but he's accumulating. Oh, that was a big backhand strike on the face. Right to the bridge of the nose, working on the cheek as well. And you see Deontay trying to go for submissions, but Jackson just too long for him to deal with. Yeah. Looks to be attacking a... Let's go. and Dominating round there for Jackson. Yeah, absolutely. And that's going to be the horn right there is Jackson, as you said, Greg. Yeah. Damn. Big time. I think that's the most dominating round of the night oh, for any easy. single fighter. Yeah. Something interesting about Deontay is I believe he was... Uh... All right, let's go, baby. Back in the action. All right. Round number two underway. Jackson, incredible performance in the first round. Let's see if he keeps up that momentum. Yeah. And Deontay can find a way to kind of quell it a little bit. Yeah, let's say if uh, Deontay, you know, starts to fade because of that weight cut. You know, Miss Kip saying he had a hard time getting onto weight yesterday. Yeah. That will affect your cardio. Big shot from Jackson again. And you can already see Deontay very tired. Hands to his side, breathing through the mouth but ready to bang still. Yeah, for sure, man. Deontay, you can definitely feel, see the exhaustion has set in. But to your point, Craig, he is ready to throw some punches when the opportunity presents itself. He's on the back foot right now as Jackson presses forward. Oh. And you can just see Deontay really worried about that takedown, which is letting Jackson throw his strikes. Almost that will stumbles him there. Oh, 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 it's over! Jackson Parks with the flying knee. That man came through the air like and, a damn eagle. That's and as we knee. know, perfectly legal because there was no reinforcement time. That was airtime, that, baby. That was airtight. Woo. Jackson improving that record right now to a clean 4-0. And unfortunately for Deontay, that's a hard way to find out. Yeah. It's no longer February, brother. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm, I'm sorry, Craig. I'm sorry. The are mauling right now. 4 and 0 oh right now. That is incredible. That was a, that was a crazy knee. Jeez. Holy moly. Well, it almost looked like as he switched into the knee, Deontay thought a takedown was coming because he was so worried about getting taken down again yes, from sir. the first round. He lowered into it, took the knee as he came forward. Lord have mercy. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. I, I like, Guys, you know gonna, what? I need a moment. I don't have adrenaline for I was going to say, I know it's, you know, we're talking about amateurs here, but Jackson, I'm seeing some real shining moments that I can see this man trying to make it to the pros. That was very impressive. And here we have the replay that's actually happening right now. Let's Much needed. Boom! That was so clean right Ooh, no. across. Too. Ladies actually, and gentlemen, the winner of this bout by TKO, Jackson Parks. So I take that back real quick. That wasn't a jumping. That was a perfectly timed rear knee. He literally just lunged, lunged into that off of a perfect miss. Even more impressive because it was timing, not just a jump luck kind of scenario. Right. He, he, that was clean. That you was could, very You clean. could tell he was very confident in all of his execution from start to finish. Jackson, a true professional in the making. And I'll tell you what, Craig, it's a privilege that all three of us got to sit here and witness that. I'll tell you what, I love seeing guys at this level because in four years from now, he could be in the UFC and I'll yes. get to go, yeah, I watched him do this. <laughs> yeah, I knew a guy one time. Yep, yep. One time I sat next to EE e. and Ms. Kip. <laughs> Absolutely. Remember that time? Performance out of you. How are you feeling? I'm sore. This video Tired. will live on forever, so we're Break good. Let's hear from the winner, Jackson. I feel great. I feel awesome. Thank you guys for coming up. How are you? How are you?
despite starting it, I've lived up to the hype, so you need to get yourself some rest. You've earned it, for sure. Another fight. Another fight. Right another, now. Another, Let's go. Well, he wants another one. Back to you guys. Thank you. Jackson Parks uh, coming to you live right after obliterating my opponent. Uh, I'm looking forward to my next one. Hopefully it's in Iron Forge again. It would be awesome. Uh, show up maybe sometime in July, maybe May. I don't know. I'm going to take a little time to rehab and then I'm going to beat someone up. Stay tuned. Hey, he absolutely killed it. That is one for Iron Forge, ladies and gentlemen, in front of 80,000 live people from home right now. Let's go. He absolutely did an amazing job. He doesn't even seem like he broke a sweat. He's smiling and waving. He asked for another one. He said, Fanny, give me another one. He, listen, he's not afraid. And that's, listen, that's the real battle right there. Step in that cage and know, as you said, Craig, I'm not afraid to get beat up, doing? but I'm going to be How the one right serving here? the hands. <laughs> I tell you what, we're going to take about a 15-minute break. Go get yourself nice and lubricated. Okay. Come on back. we got some exhibition matches. Entering the arena out of the blue corner, Austin Clark. And his opponent out of the red corner, Jay Chow. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a submission only one seven minute round with no guard pulling. Introducing first out of the blue corner in his debut, standing five foot nine inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds from Angelo MMA Fitness in San Angelo, Texas, Austin Clark. And his opponent, also in his debut, standing five foot nine inches tall, weighing in at 150 pounds, from Iron Forge Gym out of ATX, Texas, Jay Chow. Your referee in charge, David Benta. All right, so a little submission grappling. I'm assuming we're going to be just looking for submissions, probably no points. Um, let's go. This is always fun. A little change, especially since we've seen a lot of striking tonight. So yeah. you'll see a little bit more of the subtlety of jiu-jitsu. You know, for anybody who's never watched any grappling, it can be harder to watch because you can't see pressure. Ooh. You can see strikes. You can't see pressure. So grappling can be a little bit harder to watch, but... Um, Nogi and what they're doing right now where they're not wearing the kimonos and the belts and all that much more fast paced much more of a wrestling match so should be exciting to your point uh, about it being a little harder to watch well what, what are some things that we should especially be looking at like you know that can maybe indicate who's getting the upper hand here because I know strikes are kind of off the table but yeah. you know for that grip for that leverage what are some things people can kind of hone in on yeah so especially like right now both of these guys are working for inside control of the neck mm -hmm. they're trying to affect each other's postures so they can either lower their level and look for a takedown or pull their opponent to the ground with a guard pull. Um, you know, there's lots of different ways, but again, uh, it's really about pressure, which can be hard to see. So, whoa! Ooh. Again, a good takedown attempt, but then the pressure from the guillotine yeah. attempt that's coming from our opponent, you can see instantly change that attack. So, one guy's going for the takedown, now the other guy is attempting a submission from that takedown very dynamic so you really have to watch a lot of grappling to kind of start to understand um where a lot that's why it's not the spectator sport yeah, sure. fighting I, hear you. I mean hey you know what Ooh, the john jones power guillotine uh -oh. though here looking for that choke finish oh, here he's man. got it tight that right is, in front of us here is locked in and full I, mount guillotine and if he's got that all the way how he wants how long until we're really going to see him kind of fade out maybe have to force the tap well, generally speaking, a blood choke is going to affect somebody's consciousness anywhere between 3 and 12 seconds. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's quick. 
Yes, absolutely. And that's what's so frustrating about when I watch police officers or other people choke people out and it takes them four minutes. Mm -hmm. And I go, well, yeah. <laughs> if you knew anything, right. you would have already known. 15 seconds passed. I got to do something else. That's fair. That's fair. So I'm such an advocate for law enforcement training. I spend a lot of my time doing that and advocating for that. Well, we appreciate that, Craig, no doubt. So we appreciate these fighters putting their bodies on the line right now again. Right, right. He has Triangle. been delicious. And back to that pressure point, you yeah. can see the guy on the back is applying tons of pressure with what's called a body triangle, affecting the diaphragm, the breathing, and the posture of the guy he's got trapped there, really allowing him to work for chokes and kind of just dominate the situation. <laughs> Pretty sure that is his father up there saying that. <laughs> Uh, the the uh, ladies in the crowd getting involved vocally. <laughs> grab his what? <laughs> <laughs> the classic meme. <laughs> so can you grab someone's dick and twist it in this? Is that allowed? Um, so in wrestling, we actually called that the five on one. It is definitely not legal, but uh, you take the warning. You know what I mean? Are you so. are you allowed to? Uh, what's it called? You check the oil in, in, uh, in grappling. Is that uh, yep, that's exactly what it's called. Again, uh, depending on the tournament, no. But you know, sometimes you take the warning to get. Get the advantageous move you need, you know? Oh, Jay's now back on top. It's only weird if you break eye contact. That's I, all oh, I'm going to say. That's fair. You yeah. know what? I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Why is it called the five on one? <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> my five on your one. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't believe I just had to answer that. <laughs> No. Well, I'm new to the game. <laughs> you wrestled. Don't play with me. You knew what that was. You knew what you were doing. <laughs> nice little introduction for the audience. Uh, I caught that. Jay just gave me away from the from, from the cage. <laughs> Jay's smiling. I don't know what's going on there. He's having a good time, man. Jay doing a five on one on this guy will give me a wink. I'm not sure what I'm going to He heard five later. on one. Got excited. Yeah. I don't know what Jay just did, but he literally just waved. Man, he is really mounting this guy. Now he's doing a really good job of nullifying that guard. You can hear, you can hear the crowd saying he's a guard puller. But uh, uh, Top is doing a very good job of nullifying the attacks yeah. of bottom. Um, yeah. Although I will say, in straight jujitsu, it's almost easier to be the guy on bottom because you can kind of hang out, and look for attacks. The guy on top is really forced to work. Now something great about Jay is he actually just recently won the first belt for Iron Forge Gym. Let's go. Really? Yes, awesome. he did. Oh, that's incredible. He uh, armbarred him, and I think he broke his arm. Wow. Yeah. A grappling a little more dangerous than the average person might uh, might believe. In in general, yeah. yes, yes, much more dangerous. Mm -hmm. It's not if I can break your arm; it's if the ref stops it or I decide to not. I got you. Because if you get him in that position, you're not letting up. You're trying to get that done. Absolutely. I hear that. Okay. I'm noticing we this isn't uh, contested in the same like three minute rounds that we're traditionally seeing with MMA. What are the Correct. what are the round rules here? Like how does somebody win for sure? Generally speaking, you're gonna have a set amount, five, six, seven, eight. Sometimes it'll go up to like my black belt matches are ten minutes. Um, just continuous. Just continuous. Wow. Yeah. Um, and generally speaking, when you're doing something like this, it's either sub only or, um, you know, uh, kind of a judge's decision at sure. the end. So there's not necessarily points as you're going through. It's just who attacked more or um, a, a potential overtime scenario. Okay. I'm not sure the rules that we're using, to be honest with you. Um, oh. If there's not a submission at oh. the end of this, there possibly could be a draw or likely an overtime scenario where they put both of them in a submission and see who finishes quicker and then they can decide. That's fair. I mean, it's probably a little bit more open-ended here because, again, this is an exhibition, you know what Correct. I mean? Just kind of Correct. introducing people uh, to a different way of combat, which obviously these two are very skilled And a at. great way to get... Uh, guys involved in yep. cage fighting who might not quite be or fighters who need better grappling <laughs> that's a I, I i did a lot of muay thai smokers because i was a wrestler so I, I got in front of people and learned how to do the striking portion yep. at a lower level this is a that. perfect way for these guys to do that because you essentially want to incorporate everything Absolutely. when it comes like that because you want to use all that skill MMA set is about the transitions between the sports yep. and you got to have all the sports to transition so yeah. A lot of action here, though. I mean, back and forth. Oh! Really fun grappling oh, exhibition put on right now. Now you can see a, a good reap attack. Uh, he's going for a heel hook, but again, J 
Jay doing a good job of defending that. Oh. Went for a Kimura fall off, got into the mount position. And there is the end of our bout. So we're about to get the answer to our question. Yep, yep. I'm very curious. I mean, I mean, they were both just so scaled. And I'll tell you what, uh, another thing to note with the uh, grab. And oh, both winners. Okay. Yes. That's so fair. submission only. And that's sure. generally the rules. Submission yeah. only. Nobody gets a sub. That way they keep the action going. And yep. that's what we saw. That was awesome. That was basically to make them become closer friends. And I okay. think it did work. <laughs> well, that, that's kind of how we did it. Yeah. So. It also yep. made Jay get a little closer to me with that wink. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's a uh, a real nod to the amount of cardio Man, it takes to, I'm not to gonna grapple lie. like that, too. I'm not going to lie. It's the up. atmosphere in here. I don't want to get in there and grapple. That got me excited. Now, ladies and gentlemen, chat, that was just for our... That's uh, not fun, but that's, that's... That's something you can hang with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I got to get paid to get punched in the face. That's fair. That's fair. That was just for our, our, our match for halftime, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting yep. back to the MMA now. MMA, more MMA matches right around the corner. We can actually take a look at our sheet and see whom we have coming up next. <laughs> Yeah, I believe we've got uh, Noah and uh, Aramis, and then we'll be moving into our title bouts. Yay. Ooh. That's going to be crazy. Very much so looking forward to that. Yeah, and I do believe we have one more um, grappling match later in the night, right before our main event or co-main event. I, I do believe we had two. Oh, there's two grappling matches on I the believe. Oh, okay. guys, like that. Yeah. Let's go. Extremely tiring to me. All right, for your next grappling exhibition, entering the arena out of the blue corner, Blake Carter. And his opponent out of the red corner, Jake LeCahill. Hey, let's fucking go! This is by far the scariest man in Iron Fortress history. I'm letting you know right now. I, I, oh my. Some call him the gym boss of Iron Forge. Ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, this grappling match is scheduled for one seven-minute match. Fighting out of the blue corner, representing Iron Forge Gym in the ATX, Austin, Texas, Blake Carter! You know, this is a really good way for us to get some Iron Forge wins. We just set them up against each other. Very good point. <laughs> and his opponent, also representing Iron Forge Gym in the ATX Austin, Texas. This will be Jake Lacayhill. He's a three-time state champion wrestler as well. Okay. Wow! <laughs> yeah, that's a this hell of a resume. This is gonna be good, guys. Because nobody knows each other like teammates that go hard. Oh, Jesus. Uh, that gave me flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> that snap down gets you. Oh, he's got a bulldog choke there. Already going for that cradle lock to... Oh, oh man, holy, holy that. Yeah, Bowling cool. balls his way to side control. Uh, so the guy on top is the wrestler, correct? Yes. Okay, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Makes he sense. just bowling, bowling balled. him. Yeah. Holy. Yeah, that was uh, I'm stronger than you move. Yeah. Yeah. Flung him across. Pure power. Uh -uh. Wins the day sometimes. He's going to wear him down, too. And that's what I tell a lot of guys. The difference between wrestling and jiu-jitsu is often that wrestlers make you go there. Oh. Jiu-jitsu guys catch you in a trick. Wrestlers who know jiu-jitsu, big problem. Yeah. Yeah. Big he's, problem. He's Dangerous. smiling when he's, uh, he's doing this. Are you going to take down a mountain? <laughs> take down a mountain? <laughs> Good question from the crowd. <laughs> And it's retracting the legs quick enough to dodge the attempt at the takedown and put himself in a very favorable position. This guy is a pro. Nice back take there. 
Nothing worse than having a big guy on top oh. of you here. This is rough. Oh, the, the rub of the face. The PTSD oh, coming out the from rub. the Vizca. Oh, man. <laughs> Mrs. Oh, my God. I can hear it. it. He's just playing with them. Uh, and so, uh, in some of the gyms I've been to, when big guys get on top of us like this, we'll call this the panda, where mm -hmm. they crush you. Oh, oh, ooh, nice oh. transition, though. Oh, he is relentless, too, man. You mix power, speed, and endurance. You're going to have a long day. Oh! Oh, oh. The big elevation, but, hey, the bro, the bro slam. The bro slam. The he bro was slam. nice. Blowing a kiss to the audience member who is in love and enamored by his thickness. Ooh. Both these guys flowing, really moving through some technical spots, really fun. I like how they took... Oh! The takedown! Wow. Very nice. But you can tell he could have been meaner there. He could oh, have gone hard. He these... was meaner to me. Yeah. <laughs> he saves it for you. All right, got All right. a little weird there. That's, I guess we're yeah. playing prison rules right, now. Yeah. Calm down, P. Diddy. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> Ooh, oh, no. the acrobatics. Oh, nice. The cartwheel. Big man cartwheel pass. And this is the kind of match you really want to see in an MMA fight. Yeah. These guys are showing techniques. They're working with each other. They're flowing and moving. No one's trying to just win. They're trying to win with technique. Really fun match. Pretty also, sure, uh, that's his mom. Very. <laughs> oh, yeah? No. W, love that. So family so family supports everything. <laughs> A twist your dick has been requested. Oh, Jesus! And you can tell, yeah, somebody's got a lot of wrestling pedigree. Yep. They're very unconcerned with takedown attempts. I'm, I'm not going to lie, I've been to a lot of MMA fights. Yeah. Normally when they put the grappling match on, people's demeanor goes lower. This crowd is amazing. Oh, people's it. energy has been high. You know, you can hear people getting quiet because they're not quite sure what they're watching or how to be excited about it, but the energy is still so high. Oh, no, I love it. The Twitch community as well, they absolutely love this stuff. Yep. This is what they're all about, is two men just hugging and basically playing with each other. Well, remember, Twitch, it's only weird if you break eye contact. As long as we're staring each other right in our eyes, it's going to be all right. No lies told, Craig. Oh, oh, this might be it, actually. He's got a really oh, yeah, good grip does. on this. Yeah, you, you can't let this And those thunder thighs are looking to crush. Hold up now. Good hey, grief. Gotta say, though, his opponent, a very squirrely. Oh, that's a big man squeezing. Ooh, that body triangle oh, is just. God. Wow, the way he was able to re-station his legs there and still remain pressure, uh, apply pressure on that neck. Good grief. You can see him. He's reaching for that top hand, and he gets the tap. Really fun display. Great match between both these competitors. Fun one. And just great energy from the crowd, man. It's important to point out there too, Miz. He came in last minute to be a Phil, right? Oh yeah, he he rode his motorcycle up to Iron Forge, about two feet away from the class, and he said, "I'm ready to fight whenever you need me." Love it. That's awesome. He's an absolute monster. Drop of a dime, you're ready to go. All right, so grappling looks fun. How can people get involved in this part of the sport? Come to wrestling class Monday for 7:45. Best class of the week. <laughs> right here at Iron Forge Gym, right? Bring it on, boys, baby, come on! All right, thank you. Hey, we got a pretty cool thing going here at Iron Forge. Uh, be part of the movement. It's crazy here, right? Like, a lot of amazing stuff happening. Come out and support. And damn, this shit's fun! You know what I mean? Hey, you like that, baby? I told you to come on and we made it happen, all right? You like that? Craig, Ms. Kemp, and uh, boys, I think it's safe to say we have been having a hell of a time getting to not only spectate and enjoy these matches, but kind of put the, the story together on camera and on the mic for everybody at home.
That's right. We've actually had a lot of fun here with the MMA matches, with the fights, but more importantly, the audio problems. But they've all been a good time for everybody. They've been laughing them off, and honestly, I've been enjoying every single second of this. I mean, hey, listen, it's a privilege just to be here with you guys and to get the opportunity to explain this to such a large audience and to try to help maybe some people who haven't been involved in it or seen a lot of uh, combat sports, a more layman's term and an explanation for well, it. Well, he said during break, he said next time we uh, we do this, he's willing to fight. So I'm just going to say that publicly. <laughs> that He said he'll, he's willing to come out of retirement to fight. I, I am 100% willing to grapple for melee. Oh, come on. You said I'm <laughs> Now, I'm expensive. I need Bellator money. I don't know if you guys got that. What, how much does someone get paid in the Bellator? How much is the ask? purse for that? I'm curious, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Uh, uh, so, generally speaking, uh, you're starting off, if you're at a low level and you're not on the pay-per-view and you're just showing up, you could get as low as about 2500 and 2500 um, So, 2500 to show up, 2500 to win. Yeah. Um, if you're kind of like mid-prelim, maybe 5000 5000 I was very lucky. I was on. I was the first fight of the main card, so I made ten thousand and ten thousand. Uh, my fight was unfortunately a no contest, so I only got my show money. But um, yeah, no, it's 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 about at the five thousand range. So, do they get paid ever in exposure? Is because that's a huge thing we do on Twitch. We just pay in exposure. That's why I'm here. Money. It's not really a currency. Around yeah, yeah, here. yeah, yeah. Um, you know, yes. But I'll say it doesn't work out very well unless you're in the UFC because really the only promotion that exposure is going to be worth giving your brain health up for is probably the UFC. Right. So, yeah, it happens for sure. You're taking a pay cut at the medium range in a lot of promotions, um, excuse me, in the UFC because you're getting way more exposure. You could fight in Bellator and make more money. Right. But you won't be as popular. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Speaking of... Uh Making money. Ladies and gentlemen, we also have Asmongold, who's not running any ads on his channel. If you guys want to watch Asmongold react to it and say, fuck, dude, what do you mean? And then just watching a bunch of fights. He is watching and reacting live. So we have people watching. If you're watching at home or you're watching on the stream from someone else, that is perfectly fine. Uh, we are glad to have you here. And as we said, we want to give a huge shout out to Fandy for being able to fund this event tonight. With her, we were able to fund this great time. So we do owe it to her. Shout out to all of them. And also, if you have Twitch Prime available, we will gladly accept it here, chat. Drop we it. put it on these vents for free. A Twitch Prime does go a very long way. We I don't have it. a Golden Kappa train like Cutie Cinderella. However, I do have a smile. So, if you want to support this DJ the channel, playing. if you want to support the channel, folks, go ahead and Twitch Prime. I would greatly appreciate it. <clears throat> That's what it is, man. You already know, man. Good times, good vibes. Your support means the world. Events like this. They don't happen without Miz. They don't happen without Fandy. They don't happen without y'all, the production. Everybody behind the scenes, man. Y'all can make a difference. Twitch Prime, $4.99, it don't matter. Just help us stay on the grind. You feel me? Come on now. Now, hey. ladies and gentlemen, we have, tonight we have actually the rest of the fights are going to be MMA, and I believe you said you're going to fight at the end of it, correct? <laughs> 2,500, was it? Listen, I like how I like how chat started. They were like, hold on. Yeah. Hold on, how much does he need? We'll, get, we'll put this man in the cage tonight. And it's like, I'll tell you like I tell my students, what's your ATM limit? Because I got bills, baby. Yeah. I got bills. I got That's three babies. Told you. I got Get bills, baby. What you need? I didn't get these ears from hanging out at home. Come on now. I used to be a good looking man with a round face. I'll tell you what, you still got them dreamboat eyes. Hey. Come on now. You want to grapple sometime? What? Don't break eye contact. <laughs> no, come this way. We have one of our fans that wants to come through and say hello to you guys right now. Let's go. Hey, yo, what's up? What's up? Come on, Cheeto, talking to the mic. Where are you going? Right here. <laughs> we yo, need the camera Chad, over here. Cheeto in the building. That's where we uh, need the camera. It's a stressful day today in the forge, but, you know, we're trying to Don't hold get me in trouble. Hey, can. security. <laughs> I'm about to get in trouble. Yeah, I'm just keeping it real, all right? I'm not going to lie. We've got the best seats in the house. The best seats in the house. Come on, Watch now. Watch that in and out. Chat, we also have a lot of people here. I believe we are jam-packed. Every single seat is yep. sold out tonight. Yeah, and again, we were talking earlier. What you see downstairs, there's a balcony that's probably got double the amount of people packed up there. Yep. Then there's other people lined out getting drinks, and then yep. there's people hanging out on the edges. Everybody, bro. This Everybody is a is really here. awesome atmosphere. And, and kudos to you too, Miz. I've noticed that there, everywhere I turn, there has not been a blind spot for security. Yeah, appreciate that too, man. That's uh, something that you want at these events. Y'all back from your break, all tan, rested, and ready to go for some more melee. 
Right there. That's what I like to hear. Right there. All right. Believe it or not, we are at our eighth bout of a night. TDLR, are we ready? I can't believe it. Here we go. Entering the ring out of the blue corner, Aramis Mesa. And his opponent out of the red corner, Noah Elledge. Here's my question while we got a little, little lull in the action as we get ourselves prepared for our next bout. Um, so when are we going to see some Twitch fights? We're going to have some, we're going to get Osmond Gold out here and put him against uh, a broomstick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know who Osmond is? <laughs> absolutely. Oh, really? Are you kidding me? I don't know. Yeah, absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, we can put him against a broomstick. <laughs> I'll watch. Rounds. And it's for the 155 weight class. Your referee in charge, Mr. Joe Ojeda. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, entering tonight's contest with a record of one win against two defeats, standing five foot ten inches tall, weighing 155.4 pounds from Angelo MMA and Fitness from San Angelo, Texas, Amos Massa. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Entering tonight's contest with an unblemished record of two wins against zero defeats. He stands five foot ten inches tall. Weighs in at 154.75 pounds. Representing violent crown jujitsu in the ATX Austin, Texas. Noah the Oh man, something different when you get when you hear that little undefeated streak, and it ain't just because it's in the amateurs. It's for you think about Noah's perspective. He's like, I'm gonna do everything in my power to maintain that. Yep. When you don't, when you haven't lost, you don't know the feeling. You don't know how to lose. Yep. You Here just go. know winning. Well, let's see if he can know it again. But I think Aramis gonna pro provide quite the challenge. Very deep on that double leg. He's got him gripped. A lot of attention being. Given to those arms, trying to put up some defense. Oh man, lift off. Nice take down there. Not too dramatic, but gets the control position and yeah. is not in danger. Gets out of it. Ooh, very quick back take in. again. Already on the rear naked choke, just like our last fight. This could be a quick one, gentlemen. Yeah, when you're able to put somebody in a position like this this early on, 
forcing them to expend so much energy just to survive, just to and escape. And he's got it locked up. And, yeah, exactly, bro. And you said it best. It only takes a couple of seconds to put him to rest. Oh. That tap might be coming soon. He's swinging. Now he says it's on the chin. Thumbs up, says he's good. Okay. See that adjustment coming. Starting to crank it. Oh. Oh. He's holding that. It's still on the chin. It's getting steep. Tectone and screaming at the top of his lungs. Oh. This is where it gets rough. Oh, no way. Still got another minute left. He's holding on so to that for tight. dear life. Yeah, when you're in survival mode like this, I mean, you're just... Those seconds can feel like because hours. Oh, it's, it. over. it's over. It's over, man. It's over. And he fought that for a while, wow. though. That was deep. And again, the power of jujitsu. That RNC. Such a nullifier. And you can see why Noah coming into this. Plenty of confidence. Ooh. That undefeated hey. streak continues. Yes, sir. Get a couple push. He said, I got plenty of energy left. I can go the distance. Well, guess what, kid? You just went to 3-0. Yeah, it looked like, unfortunately, that uh, his opponent did stumble there. I'd probably went a little bit more out than he anticipated, but yeah. okay, back on his feet, good to go. I will say, that's the scary thing about jujitsu, and that's the awesome thing about it. You can end a fight immediately, and everyone's safe. It's very, it's very strange. I ain't never seen a dude who got choked out talk so much. Respect, brother. Keep it going. Ladies and gentlemen, at 1 minute and 35 seconds into the first round, your winner by submission via rare naked choke, Noah the Boa Elledge! Well, 3-0, and oh, a wow. dominant performance there. Not a lot of effort needed, just gets the takedown, gets the back, and gets the finish. You know, that's the second match that we've seen kind of end dominantly in the first round via a submission. So, Craig, that makes me wonder, for you, somebody who's done so many events, we know that there's an allotted amount of time on all these cards, right? Have you ever had an event go so particularly quick because every match absolutely ended so incredible quick? Performance. Yeah, absolutely. Are you feeling I've right actually now? done a card. I'm tired, but I feel good. What's up, baby? What's up, Austin motherfucker, Texas? One second. Let's go to the winners, guys. Yeah. Let's go to the winners. Did that fight go as you were expecting? It was really quick. They call me Noah the Bow for a reason. I like to strike and then I like to constrict. It's exactly the game plan. You did incredible. Can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you so much. No, oh. oh, just give you a handshake. Oh, handshake, okay. <laughs> I keep fucking up, okay, I'm sorry. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, how's Fandy doing tonight? Let's give her a big hand. And Fandy, you you also are a sponsor tonight. So a lot of this is because of the contribution that you made to bring all these fights here. Uh, how how did that come about? Well, I, Ms. Uh, Canute, Wake, I've known them for years. They're it's really cool to see them be so passionate about something, and I really just wanted to see, you know, what they can do with it. And I'm really excited to see, you know, what they have in store for the future. So. Well, Fandy, on behalf of everybody here at Iron Forge Gym and Melee at the Forge, thank you for being a sponsor, and thank you for your work tonight. Let's have a big hand for Fandy. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is your first championship bout of the evening, entering the arena out of the blue corner, Gavin Censuseros. He's got the biggest record on the card. So he's Ooh. had more fights. Oh, whoa. Wow. He's had more fights than most guys. Like, you could actually, I think, like four or five people together, he's had more fights than. So I've had the opportunity to call about three of his fights, uh, two victories and a loss. He's a very game fighter. Um, very, um, very, uh, very, uh, I, uh, I guess. Kind of like wears his heart on sleep. You can see his effort in the cage. It's really he's yeah. a really fun fighter to watch. And a championship bout. So just a reminder for everybody, this will be five three-minute rounds. Ooh. So there is a possibility of five rounds. So this is for three. a belt. Yes. One hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, you know, you put a belt on the line. You got to give them those extra rounds, right? It's. It's for not only our entertainment, rounds. but yeah, the respect for that title, for that belt, for what they're fighting for in that cage. Again, prepped and primed 
to give it to you live. These are five, five rounds, Chap. There's going to be a lot of fighting happening right now for a belt. They're getting ready. Validity doing an absolutely curious, fantastic job tonight. Yeah, curious just because I don't have it on the notes. Is do we have? Are they fighting for a belt like that's in, you know, up for grabs, or is somebody defending? So uh, this is a, a vacant belt. Okay, yeah. And uh, yeah, so it would be for the melee combat nice. 145 title. Okay, excellent. Crowd moving right now for Jonathan. Wow, a lot of support here for Jonathan. Jonathan Kinski coming to the cage with a record of three and two. Yep. Looking to win the 145 amateur title. Jonathan walking out like one punch man, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the look for sure. This this might be the best fight of the night. I I mean, both these guys have what is he, three and two? Yeah, and I'm gonna tell you just from looking three at the other and fights. Five and four. Yep. Yeah. Ooh. A lot of fights here. in this fight. Oh shit. Let's go. Uh, hey, this is oh, my, okay. Hey, this is me here. Mm. Now we're out of my area. Come on now. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. You walk in a whoa. ring like that? Oh, come on. walking out the other way. Hold up now. Uh. What the heck? Crank that shit back up. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for five three-minute rounds. And it's for the 145-pound championship. Your referee is Joe Ojeda. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, entering tonight's contest with a win, five wins against four defeats. He stands five foot eight inches tall, 144.9 pounds, representing Angelo, MMA from San Angelo, Texas, Gavin, the ultimate dragon. Cisneros! What an introduction. And his opponent. Did you pay him for that? Entering tonight's contest with three wins against two defeats, standing five foot nine inches tall, weighing it at 144.4 pounds, representing Texas Striking Academy War Training Center out of League City, Texas, Jonathan Kinte! This is it. You know, we talk about big fight feel, big fight moments. When you put a belt on the line, I don't think it gets any more intense than this, gentlemen. If you want to touch gloves, touch now. God bless and let's do this. Oh, man. Eye contact not being broken, but some bones might. Here we go. Round one underway. I made that horn. I made that horn. Here we go. Here we go, folks. 145 title on the line right here. Ooh. All right. Coming into this, both fighters with positive records on their resume. Yeah, somebody actually will move 50-50 tonight. Oh, wow. Big exchange there between saying. both men. Nice, oh, coming oh. across back. Oh, great combination as well. Big kick that's mm. caught by Cincinnaros, but that hurts. Yep. Kingski doing a good job of attacking low early. Slow the movement of the pressure fighter. Definitely. Put some pressure on those legs. It'll really come back to haunt him as those rounds wane. Great low kick. Yep. Oh, oh, the man. swing and a miss. 
That was a big shot, too, trying to take his head off. Very good job to turn and get the pressure to the cage, take advantage of the situation. Kinski showing a lot of ring ringmanship here in this first round. I uh, got him up against the cage right now. The switch. A little bit of a mild rest period, but don't get it twisted. Still moving, still trying to get position. Jocking for it right now. Leverage. And you can see there, Kinski has an underhook. His left arm, he let go of that. That was what was controlling him there. Great job of comboing Hell. kicks to punches. Yeah, they're really stringing it. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. Big oh, shot oh, from Kinski. Oh, oh, oh. He is out. Kinski. <laughs> First round! Good lord! Holy oh my damn goodness! goodness. Oh. Let me do oh. Oh, no. Are we getting this? Are we getting this? Bro. Are we Holy. getting this? Come on, cameraman! He's dancing on him! Oh my goodness! He's dancing! He's dancing on him! Where you at? Get the camera Come on! Up. The cameraman! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. What a finish. One punch, man. Oh, my goodness, guys. I can't keep doing this. Let me tell you something. It's my appropriate. Heart. Craig, it's appropriate. They just announced a new season of One Punch Man <laughs> is on the way, and that's the best goddamn endorsement you're going to get all week. Listen, if they don't clip that and put that on the channel. Come on now. Woo, big exchange. Look at that. Oh, look Great at that follow-up, too. Look at that. Oh, also, great follow-up. Also, great sportsmanship. Once he realized he was out, look, he stops. He did, and I like that. That's incredible that sportsmanship. Because, yes. guys, you know how easy it is to keep going. And he, oh, and he, he Boom, stops. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Great recognition on his part. And hey. the fact, too, knowing that he had it. I like that restraint, too, that yeah, you have yeah, to Yeah, that's respect, bro. You're out here to fight. You're out here to compete. You're never out here to injure somebody. Yeah, that's respect, bro. That Very was an amazing finish and great control. Uh, unfortunate, uh, and that's what happens when you get into exchanges, man. Yeah. I, I, I hate to say it, but Cincinnati's he got he got caught. He did, ladies and gentlemen. He was tough early on too, man. I saw Jonathan have, have the weather through testing, some pressure. testing. Crank me up, did. crank me up, ladies and gentlemen. At one minute and forty nine seconds into the first round. Your new 145 champion via knockout, Jonathan! Let's go. That was awesome, baby. That was awesome. Amazing stuff. Absolutely. Not going to lie. That's what I come for, baby. Oh, yeah. That's what I come for. That gets the juices flowing. I think everybody was expecting that at some point. Wasn't expecting it during the title oh, bout. There it is. Hey, hey, hey. Mr. Two-Step. Mr. Two-Step. That was an incredible performance. How are you feeling? I feel good. I feel good. Hey, W's in the chat. W's in the chat. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Of That's course. Amazing. Uh, you know, just defend the title, go to a different promotion, win that title. Uh, you know, just bounce around. And then uh, next year I'm turning pro. So let's get it. Let's get it. Make some real fucking money at that point. That's an incredible performance. I'm so excited to see what's next for you. Thank you so much. Hey, I just want to give a shout out to uh, all my supporters, all my friends and family. Love you guys. I want to give a shout out to uh, my coach, uh, Coach Joel, um, Adam Copley, uh, uh, Josh Altum, and uh, Joey Hurts. Um, he helped me a lot too, so uh, he's not here tonight, but I appreciate all of you guys. And uh, yeah, nah, that's what's up. Hey, real quick too. Everybody in the chat was calling me uh, the One Punch Man. I didn't know who the hell that was yesterday. I looked that shit up, and that's the best compliment I've ever been given. So I had to live it the fuck up. Let's go. Let's go. Give that man his endorsement. That is hilarious. I love how it like, kind of like, you know, the good payoff at the end there with the way he won the fight and then the acknowledgement to the chat. We'd love to see it. He does for real look like him, though. That's why. He does. It's that's crazy. Real. I mean, even the chest, the build, that's a big 45er, too, yes, boys. Because I fought 45. That's a big 45er. There you go. 
That's a big time win, right. a big time chance. Right future well. for him, man. Yeah. Right future. And that goes back to our point too. Remember, I was telling you like how there's a certain amount of time allotted for these shows. We're seeing some of these matches end so quickly in the first round. That was scheduled for five. It didn't even go one. Right. What I was going to say earlier, actually, please. I've been Ladies in shows that have like 18 people, bounce. 18 fighters. Yeah. For the they get through 12 pound amateur Two championship. Hours. That's crazy. Yeah. Entering the arena out of the blue corner, Vincent Sellers. And here we go, guys. The main event of the evening. Vincent Sellers against Hayden Briars in our 135 title match. Vincent Sellers coming out first in the blue corner. Three and one. An extremely dynamic fighter. Mixed martial artist. A wrestler with incredible power. Athlete is an understatement yes. for Vincent Sellers. I have seen him fight uh, at least three of his amateur bouts, and calling them has been nothing short of impressive. All right. I, that really, I mean, easy to say with, like, stats like that. No wonder they booked this guy main event, prime time slot to close out what's been an incredible show thus far, gentlemen. Bowls down there, I'm jealous. All right, now as you can see, Vincent Sellers making his way to the cage. This guy is extremely, extremely uh, built in a way that's hard to deal with. Very small torso, yep. very short arms, very, excuse me, very short legs, very long arms. Very powerful and thick, explosive guy. Is this so, the guy you said that you knew before? Yes, yeah. yes, I know Vincent. Uh, he's a he's a military guy, you know, so you know he's putting in the work. Respect, um, respect. He's a wrestler, so if things hit the fan, he will take you down and hold you and beat you up. Um, that's what's interesting, though. His opponent, Hayden Briers, one of the top wrestler and strikers in Texas, Ooh. actually was a Fury champion and is ranked almost one or two in the Southwest. So. Very high-ranked guys coming in against each other in this bout. I would be lying to you if I said this was the match that I believe will be fight of the night. Wow. You want to talk about getting the hype built. That right there, those statistics alone should be enough to let you know this is how you want to close out a show. Miz, you've done an incredible job go. with this event thus far. And, boy, I tell you, it's all culminating in this one moment. And he looks incredibly hyped. And happy to be here. The Black Dynamite, as that sign says. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And here we have Hayden Briars making his way to the cage. Five and two, a mixed martial artist. Again, very strong wrestlers. Guys, if he wants to take you down and hold you down, there are very few men that can keep him from doing that. But he says, and the fans have been talking, that he's looking to use his hands tonight. Mm, so should be really? interesting. Okay. When you come out with that mindset, Craig, does that disrupt what you traditionally do with your game plan? I mean, are there just you know certain fights you're just taking a different course, a different path, or do you just stick to what you know? You know, I think the mistake is sticking to what you know. So you okay. always need to improve upon your uh, your, your weakest thing. Sure. And if he feels like his wrestling is a lock, hey, let's work on our hands, man, because like the next that. step is going pro and making sure we have no holes. You're right. To your point, you said all those facets go into making a championship-level fighter. So going to have to really learn to incorporate all those skills and bring it to the table. This will be a true test right here for our main event of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. On behalf of Iron Forge Jim here in Austin, Texas and in Round Rock, Texas, for everybody here in attendance tonight and the millions watching live via Twitch around the world are you ready? Let's roll! Brilliant. Introducing first,
fighting out of the blue corner with a record of three ones, three wins against one defeat, standing five foot three inches tall, weighing in at 135.5 pounds. He is from ET Fight Academy in Lufkin, Texas, Black Dynamite Vincent Sellers. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Entering tonight's contest with five wins against two defeats, standing five foot nine inches tall, weighing in 134.4 pounds. Representing Texas Striking Academy out of St. Leon, Texas, Hayden Breyer. This round, this fight is for the 135 pound amateur championship. It is scheduled for five three minute rounds. Mm. Your referee in charge, Nick the Ghost Gonzalez. We went over the rules in the dress room. I expect a clean fight. Obey my command at all times. Touch gloves now, go back. Good luck, fellas. Oh, man. Here, Here we, we go. go. Main, main event, baby. Main event time, Craig Miz. Let's get it. People in the chat, get hype. People in the crowd already there. Oh, man. I can't wait to see this one. Such stacked statistics and resumes between the two. Will be interesting to see the smaller fighter if he's able to get in on the range. Yeah. Answer. Oh, wow. I think he answered that pretty quick. Big man. shot. Oh, my Lord. Look at him already with the quick takedown. The hands is moving. You can see him overwhelming Hayden quickly. Hayden going for that takedown oh, my in Lord. desperation. Almost gets it. Vincent goes for the lateral drop, misses back to his feet. The athleticism right there. Damn. Big takedown from Hayden. That yep. shows that wrestling pedigree. Very uh, technical takedown right there. Yeah, and that's fortunate leverage. for Hayden. He gets down to the ground, but again, because of that wrestling pedigree, he's going to be able to fight through that kind of pressure and keep it very even keeled, even on the mat. And you can see immediately there, you know, you, you want to keep it striking, but as soon as somebody gets the better hand of it, ooh, that wrestling comes in real Slows quick. Slows it down real quick. And as you said, two very accomplished wrestlers in this main event bout. All right, crowd really uh, chiming in during some of this quote-unquote downtime, but I assure you, plenty of energy is being expended right now. Yeah, and this goes to the problem with pressure, but Hayden's putting a lot of pressure there on Vincent into the cage, yeah. using his head over the top of his body to make sure that Vincent can't use the cage or crawl up to uh, get out. So very good job here, lacing that leg. Oh, but, whoa, oh whoa, The explosiveness whoa. of Sellers there. Goodness gracious. Hey. And you're right, man. I'm really seeing just how he's constructed. It just makes it so awkward to deal with. Yes, yes. Very, very thick. Very, very, very explosive. And then such long arms. Yep. And he knows when to use it. He will not waste energy. As you see, casually side control. Yep. Passing. No wasted movement. Such a huge thing, especially in a, a fight that's scheduled to go up to five rounds, right? Got to keep those energy reserves at peak at all times if you can. Good job there. Moving over to the side, looking to pepper Hayden and flatten him out. He does so. Might be getting back to oh, the Oh, wow. He's right back on top. Trying to turn this thing on his head. Hayden. Vincent Sellers looked like he was attacking a Kimura and gave up the position, but now is using it to get up onto the back of Hayden. Can't quite see the lock that he has, but I believe he has that Kimura lock in. Using it for the back now, getting one hook in. Oh my lord. He is trying. Nice quick little switch there. Hold up. Hayden does now a good job. Pepper some hits Ten in. seconds. This is where the furious blows are gonna start coming in. They know that clock is counting down. Trying to get in those little hits as much as you can. And that's it. And that's the end of the round one. Very back and forth round one there. Ooh. I love this DJ, bro. Only built for Cuban links too. Chat if you like rap, if you know, you know. 
turn it up. I'm sorry, I might just slip out right now, okay? I'm sorry. Yeah, you killing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm too excited out here. Hey. Now, I'm going to say I do think that Hayden probably won that round. A um, little bit more control, but Vincent Sellers, that could have gone either way. That could be 1-1 either way. If I'm in your corner, I'm telling you, you lost that first round. I think Vincent's uh, family's yelling his name, and it sounds like nails on a chalkboard, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> they get, they, listen, they know who they want to win. That whole section, you might as well label it Black Dynamite, okay? Because you know who they want to see win. Here we go, round two. Again, 135, weight class belt on the oh, line. Big shot from oh, Sellers, oh. two big shots from Sellers. Good Lord. Hayden unfazed though. Yeah, Hayden's composure under pressure has been something to really appreciate. Very impressive. Yes. Body shot! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, is he done? Oh, and it's over! It over? Oh, oh my God! Did he break his leg? I think he might have broke something or cracked something. Oh, oh my. I heard a crack! Oh. Was it the body or the rib? It looked like a big body shot as he entered in. Good. Oh. Dropped him right to can, the rib. Can we get that replay? Something definitely correct. Oh my goodness! Wow, he is writhing in agony right now. He is. Yep, oh yeah, big man. Knee. That was right there. And that was the right up, to yep. the liver. It was his oh. right side. Oh, man. That was a liver shot. Guys, goodness gracious, the precision from Hayden wow. Byers. And you know what? From the wrestling pedigree to say I'm going to come out and I'm show my strikes, to get that kind of knee yes. does show that striking pedigree. And I'll tell you what, that's just an exclamation point on what was already an amazing event. Hayden. You know, it kind of looked like the, the chat was saying that bald equals win, bald equals win. Hayden said, hold up now, you didn't know. A couple months ago, I shaved my head. I grew it back just for y'all. What an event. Wow. What a main event. What an amazing culmination to an awesome afternoon of fights. Melee at the Forge comes to an end Good with a grief. devastating technical knee but, and ladies, liver shot. He's still on the ground, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, this yeah. is not looking uh, too hot. This is the, you know what? It, it goes into the beauty of the sport and then the other side, which can be ugly. That was an ugly finish, but it was built upon the foundation of hard work, training, and full confidence in yourself. That's why we credit Hayden a lot for what he did in there. It was amazing. It, it flat out was. Oof. And against such an athletic, capable opponent, yep. you know, uh, that's the kind of fight you really want to go out and win. You know, you want to get a belt against a three and one guy who's strong, who's good, who other people don't want to fight. Sure. Uh, a very good look for the melee 135 champion, Hayden Byers. Now, what do you think possibly happened? Do you think he cracked the ribs? Or do you think it's just a liver? It's possible. I mean, the way he went down, a, I lot heard of times, crack. a lot of times with a liver shot, it'll be like a delay, like it'll hit, and then it'll be like a moment later, and then they go down. That happens so fast, I wouldn't be surprised if a rib crab cracked yeah. or something of that nature. Okay. Because he was holding it as he went right. down. Oh, God. And, and kudos to the ref, because he realized immediately, like, I think Hayden got like one and a half strikes on him when he was on the ground. He recognized he is down for the count. Because when he went down, you knew it was bad because he didn't even have the wherewithal to put up a defensive stance at all. Yeah, right. That head was completely exposed. Yeah, he was holding it. And it yeah. was going to get ugly quick. The refs intervening when he needed to. So. You did a great job. Nick just saying Hey, I know, I know the boys have already thanked you, but I appreciate you coming out and joining me. I hope you enjoyed the time. My name is Craig Campbell. Hit your boy up, Craig Campbell Instagram. We're going to go in for the very last call of the night for Melee at the Forge. Thank you, Ms. Kiff. E.E., e. guys, it's been fantastic, man. It has been I've loved every minute of it. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee has stopped this fight at 33 seconds into the second round. For your winner and new champion by TKO, Hayden Bryers. And he's back on the ground. Oof. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I think he cracked the rib. I think he cracked the rib.
think so in the middle, you get off the ball. Yeah, he is not looking good. Absolutely incredible performance tonight. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling good. I didn't feel like myself tonight, uh, but I work hard and this is really all I give a fuck about. So yeah. the fight was over in two rounds. Did it go about as you were expecting? Uh, yeah, he's a wrestler, so the goal was let him get tired because once a wrestler gets tired, they get really sloppy on the feet, and that's literally what happened. Is there anybody you'd like to give a shout out to tonight? Uh, my team, my family, uh, my girlfriend. Brothers, they make this shit so easy for me. Like I said, I don't do anything, though, or else this is all I do. So thank you to them. They make this happen for me. Oh, and happy birthday, Chris, the fucking stallion, baby. <laughs> all right, everybody, thank you to Fandy for sponsoring tonight's show. Also, Golden Cricket, Bailey and Bear, Unique Prince and Iron Forge Gym for this wonderful venue. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. Were you not entertained? Follow Iron Forge on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and make sure you put us in their calendars for the next melee. We'll see you then. Checking out some of these highlights from the night. And again, a great night of fights. Thank you for joining us again. I'll tell you what, it was an honor and it was a privilege to share the mic uh, with two of my boys right here and commentate these absolute gladiators uh, that got to put on a show for you guys all night. Blood, tears, and a whole lot of passion spilled in that cage. And it was an honor to be here. I hope you guys enjoyed every moment of it. Chat, let's give a big round of applause to EE for coming out here for this. Mods, we want to spam his links. I greatly appreciate it. Craig for coming out last minute and saving us basically for this entire event. Hey, come here. Put that belt on screen, man. Wants to say hi to you. Yo, put what that belt on screen. Hey, thank you so much for this, uh, you know, production and everything like that, putting us on the platform. Nah, you're good. Hey, Chad wants to say what up to you. One punch, hey, go. Up. They like you. Hey, what's up, Chad? I'm the one punch man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Chad, listen, if you guys enjoyed this fight, we do plan on doing a lot more uh, more often. Please do me a huge favor and go uh, to our Instagram and give it a follow. Also, if you're new to my channel, please follow the stream. That is all I ask for today. And from us, One Punch Man, and all of us, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you guys had your own music for some of the audio parts. But otherwise, it was an amazing event. And seriously, thank you guys for coming out. No, no Absolutely. doubt about that. Thanks for having Absolutely. us, man. Melee hey, hey, fight league. Follow me on Instagram, JP Kinsky, K I N S K Y, JP Kinsky. JP. Hey, y'all can follow me on Twitter if you want. He, and in the main event, Hayden underscore Bryce. Now you're good.